week 15 of the fantasy basketball season. And he has a few guards that look to sell and trade this week. The first guard, Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns. So Devin Booker, what a stretch it's been for him over the last few weeks here. One of the best players in fantasy basketball, and he's been a scoring machine. And I'm not saying to dump him just for anything, but at this time, while he's at peak value and healthy, he could easily sketch it to with three players in a deal on the season. 28.4 points a game, 4.9 rebounds, 7.3 assists, 2.3 threes a game, and 50% from the field. But the last two weeks, like I mentioned, he's been on a tear, 35 and a half points a game, 5.3 rebounds, 5.8 assists, the steal, 3.1 threes, and 54% from the field here for Devin Booker. So Booker's playing great basketball, no doubt about it. He's having some great high scoring ball games for this Sun team. And right now, well, he's at peak value, like I said, coming off historic games. He's definitely a sell-high candidate. January 24th at Dallas, 46 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 6 threes, 73% from the field. January 26th at the pace is 62 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, 2 blocks, 6 threes, 59% from the field. And January 28th at the Magic, 44 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, 2 blocks, a 3, 65% from the field. January 29th in Miami, 22 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, a steal, a block, 2 threes, 39% from the field, playing great basketball is Devin Booker. Even though they're 2-2 two two in those games where he's went off 2 out of 3 games as Booker, he's scoring the basketball at a high rate, he's putting up a lot of assists and 3 points, he's been hitting over the last week, week and a half as Booker, and he's a perfect sell high candidate because right now, I, if I'm a Booker owner and I'm down in the standings, I would put feelers out there to see what I could get in the deal. Obviously, if it's not what you want, you don't sell them off. But if you could get a nice haul, at least two solid players, or maybe three solid players even in the deal, this would be the time to do with the next card is D'Angelo Russell of Los Angeles Lakers. I've mentioned Russell a couple times this season, and right now he's been in trade talks. Is Russell possibly going to the Hawks in a deal for DeJounte Murray in a package? So on the year, 17.3 points a game, 2.6 rebounds, 6.1 assists, 2.6 threes, and 47% from the field. But the last two weeks here, he's been on a tear as well, 27.1 points a game, 2.1 rebounds, 6 assists, 4.9 threes, and 50% from the field. So right now, he's been a three-ball machine over the last couple weeks here is D'Angelo Russell. And scoring the basketball at a high rate, but obviously we still know He's the third or fourth option minimum on this Laker team. Behind LeBron, behind Anthony Davis, Austin Reeves, obviously, in this lineup as well. And right now, he's just going out there and putting up points. January 25th versus the Bulls, 29 points, four assists to steal a block, eight threes, 55% from the field. January 27th at the Warriors, 28 points, three boards, five assists, two steals, a block, five threes, 42% from the field in january 29th the houston 23 points a rebound five assists a steal three threes and 42 percent from the field so right now russell playing great basketball he's scoring at a high rate like i mentioned but if he does get traded to the atlanta hawks who they're versing here later tonight is this los angeles Lakers team his stats are going to stay the same will go down with trey young being the main ball handler and other guys on that roster as well could score the basketball bogdanovic if he don't get traded they got on that roster, Sadiq Bay, Johnson. So they got some options on that team. DeAndre Hunter. So if those, if Russell does get traded to the Hawks, and he still has to fit in with those guys as well, I think his numbers right now, well, they're at peak value. He's a perfect sell high guard in the third and final guard. I look to sell and trades Lamelo Ball of the Charlotte Hornets. The ball's been banged up pretty much all season, where he's missed a number of games, and he's always been hurt. It seems like early in his career. So far as ball, but when he plays, he's one of the better fantasy players on the year. 23.9 points a game, 5.1 rebounds, 8 assists, 1.8 steals, 3.2 threes a game, and 43% from the field. But right now, he's dealing with a little bit of an ankle injury, is Lamella Ball. And early in the season as well, he missed a big chunk of time. November 30th, all the way to January 12th, he was out with Lamella Ball. But now, he came back for a few games. And now he's out again, January 22nd in Minnesota, 18.6 rebounds, 13 assists, three steals to 338% from the field. January 24th, the Pistons, 17 points, four boards, seven assists, a steal with 328% from the field. And January 26th versus Houston, 15 points, two boards, eight assists, two steals, two threes, 37% from the field. So right now, Ball, I think if you could get anything for him in a deal, this would be a time to do it because right now, this Hornet team's going nowhere once again this season, 10 and 35 on the year. I know it's about the young plays the rest of the season. We could see Gordon Hayward, Cali Lowry either traded or bought out off this roster and a couple other guys as well. But right now, Lamella Ball's been banged up, like I said, for the majority of the season. 
and they're not going to go out there and try to get them hurt, especially that they're out of it, and they most likely trying to tank for a draft pick. So right now, while Ball hasn't played over the last few games, and it could be lingering injuries the remainder of the season possibly, or they're just going to sit him out, like I said, where they're just trying to tank at this point. He's a sell-off this week, so that's a few guards I look to sell and trade for week 15 of the fantasy basketball season.